Hello everybody, today I am back with another video and this week I wasn't sure what I was going to talk about and um, then I realised that the thing that I have been particularly focusing on this week is the um, mental health campaign at St Mary's. So I'm part of the Welfare at Mary's team, um, part of the committee and um, this week we're running the um, mental health campaign and I've been involved in a couple of bits um, and one of the things I've been involved in is we've had um, a suggestions box outside the dining hall um, which people can put suggestions in as to what they do to de-stress um, and then we're going to make a massive poster out of it to give recommendations to other people as to like ways that they could help de-stress and so today I thought I'd make a video about how to de-stress um, and I'm going to include some things that I suggested because I stuck a few extra suggestions in the box when I was sitting there yesterday um, but also some things that other people suggested so that it's not just my perspective it's things that help everybody so the first thing um that i thought i'd mention because it was the first thing i thought when i saw the box and i heard a few other people say it was to make a cup of tea um and everyone seemed to suggest make a cup of tea like so many people said that so i just got my calming tea i feel like that's quite a good one for when you're stressed out um but i've got quite a lot of different teas i've actually got quite a vast tea collection at uni started with like seven different boxes of tea one of them's gone but um i've been drinking so much tea the last two months um missing my coffee machine but enjoying all the tea um and i definitely think just taking the time out to get out of your room go and make a cup of tea if you're in a sociable corridor you know you can just chat to a few other people in the kitchen whilst you make tea and just have a bit of a break take like a moment out for yourself the next thing um, is to read a book. Obviously, this isn't necessarily something you can do in the middle of the day whilst you're working, but I always find that on an evening before I go to bed, I feel much more relaxed and much more ready to sleep if I read a book as opposed to like if I'm sitting watching Netflix. Although some people did suggest that they like to watch Netflix, so that's another suggestion for you. And it's just sort of about taking some time for yourself and doing something that works for you. Um, so that's one of my points is to like give yourself a time out if, like if you're feeling really stressed and overwhelmed and I'm not necessarily the best at doing this yesterday I was feeling really stressed out but I was like but I've got the work to get done I need to do it but when you're feeling like you just can't do the work rather than still telling yourself like I need to do this now I need to do this now if you're not going to be able to do it just give yourself the time out don't try and force yourself into doing it now because you'll probably make yourself more stressed which will make it even harder to work later on so just give yourself the break take some time out and then come back to it later on. The next thing is yoga. And unfortunately I haven't really like practiced yoga that much since I got to uni, um, which is a shame because I really find that it helps. Um, so yesterday evening I got out my yoga mat um, and put on my diffuser and just like did some yoga and listened to some calming music, which is another tip, pop on some calming music um, and you know, just something that you can really chill out to. Or alternatively, another suggestion was listen to some Christmas music. Um, like, if you want to just, you know, feel happy, Christmas music is the way to go. And having a good sing-along, doesn't matter what your neighbours think, just get out that Christmas music and have a bit of a sing-along. Um, the next thing, um, different people suggested different methods of meditation. So I found that headspace meditations can be quite good, but one of my friends suggested, um, like, just pop your lights off like plug your fairy lights in and just like meditate for a bit in the dark which can be quite relaxing because you haven't necessarily got like it sort of transforms your room a bit from being like your study space to you know like your chill space for you time so taking the time to maybe do some breathing exercises and do a bit of meditation and just like trying to calm a busy mind because I find that like when I'm really stressed out it's because my brain just has so many thoughts and it can't slow down so I would recommend just doing what you can for example meditating or breathing exercises to just slow the mind down um another suggestion if you like if you just can't slow down and you need to like you have like pent-up energy that you need to get out would be to go for a walk um because I find that like just getting out sometimes I've just got so much that I just need to like move to kind of like get all that extra energy out of me so going for a walk or going for a run can be really helpful and sometimes I find that actually going for a walk with a friend can be good because I can chat to them and sort of like 
not like offload your problems as such but like I feel like you know a problem shared is a problem halved and that maybe by actually explaining your problems sometimes I realize that maybe I don't have as many things to be stressed about as I actually thought and when I actually verbalize what I'm stressed about I'm like actually that that's not so bad that sounds kind of silly in retrospect so that can help and they might be able to give you some useful advice but it's quite good to share that's just so that you know you're not on your own and if you're living in university or in a college like I am at Durham there are always people nearby and there'll always be someone to go on a walk with you um then my next tip um a few people suggested watching vlogmas um so if you're into vlogmas that can be a good one at the moment we're just coming up to christmas so there are lots of new vlogmas videos out every day um for me what works really well is um and i sort of pair that with like maybe like the yoga or the breathing exercises but i can also have this going in the background whilst i'm studying which is quite good and that would be to like um have some essential oils and things so i have like um a little roll on that i have this one's the, like the relaxation one but i also have one that's like study i have different ones for different things but you just sort of like take this um roll it on your pulse points rub them together and you've just got like a nice like calming scent um and you can just you know like pop that on whilst you're studying um and then you've got that sort of like relaxing factor with you i guess but like you're not having to like take time out if you literally don't have the time that's something that you can have going whilst you're studying um and then i also pop some essential oils i've got a little diffuser so i can pop some essential oils in my diffuser so i actually have one that's like a de-stress blend um which is really nice but my favorite combination is these two so you put a few drops of lavender in and a few drops of petty grain in and they make the perfect de-stress smell i think like i love that like the scent of lavender i find that it is like it's my perfect de-stress scent um and all of these things are, are neil's yard i'm not sponsored by them or anything but um like we love them with my family so i've got a bunch of like lovely neil's yard stuff which is like my de-stress kit um and yeah the last thing which someone said to me well a lot of people said they didn't know what to do to de-stress and someone sort of explained that as the only thing that they could do to de-stress was just get the work done. They wouldn't be less stressed without getting the work done. And if that's the case for you, sometimes you do just have to power through. But I find, for me, I need to, sometimes if I'm so stressed out, I can't get the work done. You need to do some of these other things. Just take even half an hour out to sort of like bring yourself back down to a level of like calmness where you can get the work done. And then you can properly de-stress once you've got that work done. So yeah, I think that that's all my factors I've got on my little <laughs> note here with me. Um, so if any of those helped you, let me know below um, and feel free to try out a combination of those, pick whichever ones work for you um, and let me know whether any of those have helped you. Um, if you want any more particular videos, just comment down below. I did get some recommendations on my last video, so I'll be looking at making some of those soon, um, but I'll probably make those in the new year um, because I don't want to just have uni themed videos. Um, so yeah, right. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.